Hey there, folks. Do you remember those good old days when you settled in with your popcorn, wrapped in the cozy embrace of nostalgia, and watched the 1972 classic, Lady Sings the Blues? Ah, oh, what a time it was. That soul-stirring journey of Billie Holiday's life, portrayed by the legendary Diana Ross, left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. But hey, we're not here just to reminisce, we're here to celebrate those cherished memories. So, let's take a walk down memory lane together, shall we? What were your favorite moments? Did Diana Ross' performance give you goosebumps? Did the story of resilience and passion resonate with your soul? Share your Lady Sings the Blues experiences, and let's relive those cinematic magic moments. Now, speaking of magic, did you know that this iconic film holds some fascinating secrets and stories behind the scenes? Fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to dive into some intriguing random facts about the show. Stay tuned. Lady Sings the Blues, a 1972 biographical drama directed by Sidney J. Fury, is a compelling cinematic journey through the tumultuous life of jazz and blues legend Billie Holiday. The film is inspired by Holiday's autobiography of the same name and stars the incomparable Diana Ross in the iconic role of Billie. The story chronicles Billie's troubled childhood, her rise to fame as a jazz singer, and her enduring battle with addiction. Ross delivers a mesmerizing performance, capturing the essence of Billy's hauntingly evocative voice and complex persona. The film's unique style is marked by its evocative portrayal of the jazz scene of the 1930s and 40 seconds, complete with soulful musical performances that showcase Ross's vocal prowess. Lady Sings the Blues had a significant impact on popular culture, earning Diana Ross an Academy Award nomination for her portrayal of Billie Holiday. The film shed light on the personal struggles and racial discrimination faced by one of the greatest jazz singers of all time, thus contributing to a broader conversation on these issues in American society. It remains a powerful testament to the enduring legacy of Billie Holiday and her indelible mark on the world of music and civil rights. Lady Sings the Blues, a pioneering 1972 biopic in 1972. The movie Lady Sings the Blues made history as the first African-American biopic to receive Academy Award nominations. Starring Diana Ross in the role of jazz legend Billie Holiday, the film earned five Oscar nominations, including one for Best Actress. This cinematic achievement broke barriers, marking a significant step forward for representation in Hollywood. The film offered a portrayal of the iconic Billie Holiday's tumultuous life highlighting her struggles with addiction and the racial injustices she faced. Diana Ross' performance as Billie Holiday earned her a well-deserved Oscar nomination for Best Actress. The film also received recognition in categories such as Best Art Direction, Best Costume Design, and Best Sound. Moreover, an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit involves comedian Richard Pryor, who reportedly instructed Diana Ross on how to depict drug use convincingly during certain scenes. Pryor's guidance added depth and authenticity to the portrayal of Billie Holiday's life. Lady Sings the Blues remains a significant film in the history of biopics, addressing both the challenges faced by African-American artists and the complexities of addiction. Its recognition at the Academy Awards paved the way for more diverse and inclusive storytelling in the film industry. Dorothy Dandridge was also considered for the role of Billie Holiday in an earlier proposed film adaptation, but she tragically passed away before the project could come to fruition. However, Diana Ross' compelling performance in Lady Sings the Blues has since become iconic, solidifying her place in cinematic history. Diana Ross' Pregnancy and Lady Sings the Blues in 1972, Diana Ross took on the role of jazz legend Billie Holiday in the movie Lady Sings the Blues. It's an iconic performance, but what you might not know is that she was pregnant with her daughter, Rhonda Ross Kendrick, while preparing for the role. This adds an extra layer of admiration to Ross' dedication to her craft. Pregnancy can be a challenging time, and yet she put in the hard work to portray Billie Holiday convincingly. It's a testament to her commitment and talent. Diana Ross, the iconic Billie Holiday and Lady Sings the Blues in the late 1960s. The idea of bringing Billie Holiday's life to the big screen was in the air. Abby Lincoln was the first choice to play the iconic jazz singer, 
but Diana Sands was also considered. However, this project went through a few twists and turns. A few years later, in the early 1970s, Diane Carroll was suggested to lead the film. But it was a conversation between producer Jay Weston and director Sidney J. Fury that led to a pivotal decision. The role was ultimately offered to Diana Ross, marking a significant moment in the film's history. Ross' portrayal of Billie Holiday in the 1972 movie Lady Sings the Blues garnered widespread acclaim proving her acting talents extended beyond her musical prowess. The film beautifully captured the essence of the troubled jazz legend. Adding to the film's success was its soundtrack. The soundtrack album became a massive hit for Diana Ross, and in April 1973, it claimed the number one spot on the Billboard album chart for two consecutive weeks. Ross' emotive and powerful performances on the soundtrack contributed to its enduring popularity, making it a memorable part of the film's legacy. In summary, the journey from casting choices to the chart-topping soundtrack made Lady Sings the Blues a significant moment in both Diana Ross's career and the history of Billie Holiday's legacy on the big screen. Diana Ross demanded the role of Billie Holiday in Lady Sings the Blues in 1972. The movie Lady Sings the Blues brought the story of legendary jazz singer Billie Holiday to the big screen. What many may not know is that before Diana Ross was cast in the lead role, several other actresses were early contenders for the part. Diane Carroll, Cicely Tyson, and Lola Falana were all considered for the role of Billie Holiday. However, it was Diana Ross who demanded the role from Motown head Barry Gordy. Her determination paid off, and she ultimately landed the part, delivering a memorable performance that earned her an Academy Award nomination. Diana Ross was dedicated to bringing the character to life, and she even received guidance on how to portray scenes of drug use in the film. According to her, the iconic comedian Richard Pryor instructed her on how to behave during these challenging sequences. What adds an extra layer to this story is that Diana Ross was pregnant with her daughter Rhonda Ross Kendrick while preparing for her role in Lady Sings the Blues. This unique circumstance showcases her commitment to the project and the challenges she overcame to deliver a powerful performance. In the end, Lady Sings the Blues became a significant moment in Diana Ross's career, solidifying her reputation as a versatile artist who could tackle complex and demanding roles. Her dedication to the film paid off, and it remains a pivotal work in her filmography. So, while the film itself is a timeless classic, the behind-the-scenes stories of casting, preparation, and dedication make Lady Sings the Blues an even more remarkable piece of cinematic history. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the captivating world of the 1972 movie Lady Sings the Blues, I'd like to invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. This film, a tapestry of artistry and emotion, has touched the hearts of many, and perhaps it holds a special place in your own cinematic collection of memories. Did Diana Ross' spellbinding portrayal of Billie Holiday's life resonate with your own experiences, dreams, or struggles? Did the powerful music and storytelling leave an indelible mark on your soul? Maybe it sparked a passion for jazz or ignited a newfound appreciation for the trials and triumphs of extraordinary individuals. Now is the perfect time to share your cherished memories or profound thoughts about Lady Sings the Blues. How did it inspire you? What scenes, songs, or performances left you in awe? Feel free to let your reflections flow in the comments below and let us know how this remarkable film has impacted your life. We're immensely grateful for your time and interest in exploring the world of Lady Sings the Blues with us. Your insights and personal stories enrich the legacy of this timeless classic, and we're delighted to have shared this cinematic journey with you. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until next time, keep the magic of cinema alive in your hearts.